welcome back to the Madison C. Iowa channel. Hi, El Billy. This one is for you. This is going to be a um, a tour into Pamel Park in Madison County, and it also has campgrounds. It's one of my favorite places to be. Absolutely love it here. And when we first come in, there's a bridge, and it has Middle River going through it. Let me just move my camera so you can see. Okay, here looks like a good uh, view off the bridge when we first come in. Seriously, you could probably walk in the water most of all this river. It's not deep at all. On occasion I've seen a couple kayaks and a canoe, but they have to be careful so they don't get, uh, you know, touch the bottom. It's a fun place here. Let's keep going. And then up ahead, we're just going to come into the entrance of the park. We've got some bicyclists out here. This is one of my favorite places to uh, pick raspberries and blackberries. to the top of this hill and I'll give you a view. Okay, and this is Middle River. It's a crooked river, but uh, it's nice. It's got a catfish in it, big catfish, and it winds all over down in through here. So let's keep going. Here is the entrance to a tunnel. I'm going to stick my camera out and see if we can't get some views from up above because it's really spectacular. I think I'll get a better picture on the other side, but we're going to try it. Okay. Can you see the tunnel? And all the rocks up above? It's really pretty. There's a bike tra or a walking trail. All right, let's go down underneath here. A little bumpy here. Hang on. We're going to go to my favorite part. Nope, we're not flooded. This is one of those roads that you can drive right on over. In the summertime, People come here and fish, and the little kids are out here playing. Now, the water that goes over the road is only like, I don't know, it looks only like two to three inches deep right now. When it's flooded, when it floods down here, they will shut the gates, but it's not flooded right now. And even the the water in this river down in this part is only probably knee deep in places at the most. So it's real nice. We're going to take a little drive through here. Oh, I forgot to mention this is my favorite place to go Indian bead hunting. Love it. So let's just go over here. Three or 
four inches deep. But I'm in a track. It's all good. And there's not really a whole lot down here. It's just kind of a pretty drive. We'll go up here and turn around and go back over the water and or the road and take you to the campground. So hang on, it's going to be a little bumpy here. Oh, it's kind of soft too. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. Hold on. There we go. Phew. Wow, that's done. That was a mess. But this is also a nice place to go mushroom hunting, uh, wild berry picking, fishing. Just to come out here and enjoy the the water and the fun it's a great place for the kids so here we go again getting the underneath side of my truck cleaned and we have some bicyclists again oops so let's just take a quick jaunt up here and we're going to go visit the, the campground. Be back with you in a minute. Okay, we're in the campground part of this and since I'm not staying, I'm not paying. We have a couple campers out here. This isn't really all that spectacular. It's just got slots for campers and places for tents. I think a few of them actually have um, power hookups, but I'm not 100% sure. But still, it is real pretty out. If you sit still long enough, you can see all the wildlife. Find the mushrooms on the trees. All that kind of good stuff. Whoops, sorry. So we're gonna get out of here and I'm just gonna point out a couple more things. I'll be right back. See right there is a, an example of the mushrooms that we have growing on the trees. I think they're edible. Not 100% sure. But you can drive around this whole park and find all kinds of them. Okay, we have a lot of these, I think they're sandstone uh, cliffs, and I really like coming out here because a lot of them that have fallen to the ground, you can see the piles, you can pick them up and drop them on another rock and find all kinds of fossils in there. These rocks are loaded with fossils. And it's so much fun to bring kids here and show them how to find a fossil. Let me back this up a little bit and see if that helps. There we go.
So I think this was the other thing I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed Pamela Park. And everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.